How many times have I talked about my challenges keeping this tank clean? I want to make a video about it, but I can't because it looks like the season finale of Hoarders. Let me take care of this and I'll get back to you. Water change is done, although you can't really tell, but we go on with the video. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to thank Fluval. They sent me two absolutely amazing cat beds. They just love them. It's no secret that this is absolutely my favorite aquarium in my collection when it's clean. But okay, let's get past all of that drama and talk about what we're really here to talk about, which is feeding these monsters so that they can just make the tank dirty again. With all of our fish, we try to feed a variety of food. For the Africans, it's either North Fin Cichlid, North Fin Jumbo, or Extreme Big Fella. The goldfish in this 75 and in the tub, we go back and forth between North Fin Goldfish and Extreme Goldfish. All of the community fish and Lisa's Discus get North Fin Krill Flakes or Extreme Community Crave. Are you seeing a pattern here? We love North Fin and Extreme. And I don't care what anybody says, they are the two best brands out there, period. For the saltwater fish, I feed sea chem flakes, frozen mysis, and frozen clams on a half shell. And the betas? Take a guess. Northfin super beta and beta bits, and extreme beta pellets, and occasionally frozen bloodworms. Shocker, I know. But what about a tank full of fish like this that look like White Goodman in the post credit scene? Yeah, hope you're all happy now. Yeah, I said it. You're a big fat slob, both of you. Well, if it's a day where I need to feed them quick because I've got other things to do or I'm just lazy, I'll give the cichlids Northfin tropical sticks. And by the time you see this video, I've probably also added Northfin arowana. I'm really hoping they change the name of that food because it's not just for arowanas. But if that's all I put in there, the bikers wouldn't get anything. Bikers, bashirs, bitchers, whatever you want to call them is fine. I call them bikers because I think it sounds cool. They'll go to the top for food if they have to, but for the most part, they like their food to come down to them. Well, mine do at least. Maybe they're just lazy or spoiled, or both. So for them on pellet days, I drop in Northfin Carnivore. This is a 10 millimeter sinking pellet that looks like little cookie crisp. Now here's another scenario. Maybe it's another day where I want to feed them quick. Instead of the tropical sticks, I'll throw in jumbo freeze-dried krill from Tetra. See? You thought I was only going to be talking about food that I sell. I don't sell this. Although I would, because I've been feeding this to monster fish since the mid-90s. Sometimes I'll even put this in my peacock and hap tank, and that's really fun to watch. But let's be real. I'm not usually in a huge hurry to feed these fish, so it's no problem to give them something that takes a little more effort than just reaching in the bag and throwing stuff in. That's when I'll thaw out either some frozen shrimp or frozen tilapia. I just pick these up at Food Lion and keep them out here in the freezer. I'll put a few of them in an empty jar of Max Out or Fuzz Out, fill it up with hot water at the sink, and while that's thawing out, I'll feed everything else in the fish house. And usually by the time I'm done, it'll be all thawed out and ready. The funny thing is, the Oscars don't really care for the frozen stuff. I'll throw it in and they'll watch it sink and they're like, What is that poop? So it's good because I can drop in the sticks or the freeze-dried krill, which satisfies the Oscars and Severums, and then drop in the tilapia or the shrimp. It goes right past them and the bikers get to eat too. It's perfect. Now here's the funny thing about my bikers. I don't know if they all do this or if it's just mine, but they'll push their food around and play with it for what seems like an hour before they actually eat it. At first I'd worry they were gonna push it around and then one of the Oscars was gonna come along and steal it, but I quickly realized the Oscars aren't interested in that food, so the bikers can just take their time and play around with it for as long as they want. When it comes to the shrimp, I do the exact same thing because all I've been able to find lately is the jumbo shrimp, so I have to cut it up, but I always get excited when I find the little teeny frozen shrimp. 
I guess these would be the ones that people fry up to make like little popcorn shrimp, but I don't know. They've been really hard to find. Those little ones are awesome because I just thaw them out and throw them in whole. It makes the job easier. Now, you knew I wasn't going to get through this whole video about feeding monster fish without mentioning live feeder fish. Whenever I say that, people automatically think I don't like it because it's cruel. And I guess they're kind of right because I do keep comet goldfish as pets. Or maybe you think I'm saying it just because I don't like the conditions they're raised in. Well, yeah, that's kind of true too, but I'm realistic. I know the cows, chickens, and pigs I eat every day are raised in poor conditions too. No, my issue with it is the fact that it serves no benefit to the fish whatsoever. You'll never win an argument with me about little goldfish having more nutritional value than the pellets we feed them. So just don't even try. And the thing is, most people do this because they think it's cool to watch one animal pursue and kill another. And I'll admit, that just doesn't do it for me. Call me soft, call me whatever you want to call me, but I'm not entertained by a giant fish eating a tiny goldfish or a guppy that never stood a chance. I bet those people wouldn't be entertained watching someone like The Big Show taking on a little kid. Come on, John, you're taking it too far. Am I? Watching a five-year-old jaguar cichlid that's two feet long tear up a three-month-old one-inch goldfish is the same as a 1,200-pound grizzly bear eating a three-inch baby squirrel. No one would be entertained by that. And if you are, maybe that's the problem. But listen, the bottom line is this. If you like watching big fish eat little goldfish, you're doing it for you. You need to get a life, and most importantly, you need to go f